silence. I haven't experienced you in a while. With an election looming and the American public deeply divided, the virus highest temperature four packets on of record. toilet paper per customer. But now I'm here. stuck in Hawaii quarantining and I got a call from my brother Alex and he's like hey I have this kind of crazy opportunity I don't know if it's gonna work out but would you want to go on a boat trip to the Mentawais? So what do you mean like sounds crazy I thought Indonesia was shut down he's like I think I figured a way out. Uh, what are you kidding me? I was itching to surf I was in California kind of saw like this news article come up saying that a few pro surfers went to Indo. They got a special visa. So I sent that directly to my travel agent. And he's like, whoa, like I didn't know about this. Like here, let me figure it out. So he called me back five minutes later. He's like, hey, I can get you guys into Indonesia. So the Mentawais is like the dream destination for surfers. Every little nook and cranny has a perfect left, a perfect right. This opportunity is crazy because we're one of the only boats out there. So there's gonna be no one around. I was really excited. I had seen all these places and videos before, but I'd never actually been here. It's always been a dream of mine. So just was so stoked to get a spot on the trip. Definitely wasn't gonna be easy to get everyone here. We had to take COVID tests. Everyone had to be negative. I was feeling fine and healthy and I tested positive for COVID. I just like locked myself in a room for 24 hours, just kind of tripping out, like what am I supposed to do? What am I allowed to do? I just was like, you know what? I'm just gonna go get another test. And I went and got another test and luckily it was negative. That kind of like made the feelings really sink in, like, whoa, like this is really happening. We're going to India. When all this quarantine stuff happened, I really enjoyed it at first. I got kind of stuck at home in Hawaii, which is beautiful. So blessed to be there. I got to focus on myself, but six months goes by, like there's definitely an itch and an urge to travel. All showed up to LAX airport on time, except for Brad, I think he was a little late. <laughs> got on the plane and we, we had empty rows the whole way there, like everyone wore masks, we were washing our hands, we were being super safe, the airports were empty community programs and doing everything we could to stay healthy all the way there. Once we traveled 24 hours, we still had like an eight hour boat ride. Yeah. That was a rough night of sleep. <laughs> wow. Yes. Energy yes. in the cup. Yes. This is our first surf of the trip here, and we're feeling pretty gnarly from just the 
flying all the way here and boating all night and just keep going. It's gonna be a nice warm up session. It's gonna stretch out the body. Perfect way to warm up. Alex is getting his boards ready still. A couple big sets. Do this one. Oh Good my life. god. You're not in Venice Beach anymore, Travis. One session one, super fun to just get out there and get that jet lag off. Feel the board. I was riding this weird round nose board from RS Mori special. It was super fun. Sure. We're gonna go check out Lance's. You feel that? Lance's right is offshore right now. Good, huh? Oh my god. Now we get to go right. Now the trip really starts. to like enjoy the surf session. I felt like it was the first time I could see mental wise for what it was and actually enjoy like really enjoy it and soak it in. Like this place is crazy. Look over your shoulder, it's just your best friends and your brothers. Trading offsets. I don't like to take myself too seriously. I like to have a lot of fun out there. I decided to take out my number one pro shortboard, my 510 model, 
and just give it a little boogie board, you know, and it worked really great through the tube. The positivity of this crew is next level. I haven't experienced anything like this before. Everyone just hooting and hollering in the water. Anytime you do something cool, it's like all positive vibes. Everyone's stoked for you, which is really unreal. It, it, it hardly ever happens as surfers were kind of selfish people, but not with the RS crew. It's, it's very sick. Just like the best vibe, our crew is amazing. Just like a contest to see if you feel know, just positive the whole time. I've been to the men's wise five times and I stopped going because it was getting so crowded. At this time there's nobody there. We're, actually there's another boat of our Hawaiian friends. We surfed with them and we had a super fun session. something I'll never forget for the rest of my life. Usually there'd be like 50 people out. But being here with this whole crew, with my brothers, new friends, it's like such a special time. Silence. I haven't experienced you in a while. But now I'm here. videos check out our channel and remember smash that like button and subscribe more videos every Tuesday at